Greetings and welcome back to Rise of Industry. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we have another offer of delivering nine chickens to um, Guardiola, which is over here, which is really quite far away. How much do we get here? Let's see, by November, we're in December year two, November year three. That's quite a long time. Um, and our bonus would be half a million dollars. I think we're going to take it. Let's take this contract um, and then let's uh, make sure that we get our chickens delivered. All right, chickens one. Let's go. Two. Let's just have this all go to Guardiola. Uh, be sure to click on the contracts thing. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to be very naughty and just copy and paste all of these uh, things here. Oops, let's just make sure all that goes. So that all the chickens now go down to uh, there. Now, important to note, if you're just delivering to their place, you don't need a logistics permit. Your trucks are free to go over there um, anytime they want. And as we are going to see, this is going to fill up with chickens. Uh, well, one day, uh, whenever they get past all the millions of bridges that are built here. <laughs> but it should be just fine, and they should be delivering them uh, at some point. I think we're okay because we have three different farms delivering, <clears throat> so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But it will tell us when we are done with this situation. Now then, um, until Carejo grows a little bit... Oh, we have one delivered. Deliver 23 to Corta Pesas. Where is that? Um, oh, three of nine delivered. Whoa. Where is this place? Okay, it's all the way over there. Eh, that many wheat? No thanks. Nope, bye-bye. Not going to deal with you. <clears throat> but this is going to be a good way to get lots and lots of money here. Um, but what we can do... Since Carejo is not growing as fast as we want it to at the moment, we're going to let it grow. It's going to do its own thing, and hopefully it will build more shops so we can build something. I don't want to build books again. I've already done the whole book thing. We did that last time, so I want to do something new. Um, and note that we are making a loss here because we're not selling our chicken meat at the proper place. Uh, but we should get the bonus for this soonish, I hope. Come on, one more chicken. Let's go. Okay, we're done. Gameplay alert. Yes, you have successfully completed the contract. We got our half a million dollars. And now we're going to take these chicken things and choose the destination. This is one thing that, I don't know, I wish it could be implemented slightly differently. Um, I suppose you could send them to a warehouse and then the warehouse would deliver it to wherever you want to. Um, but it would obviously would automatically go to the next thing anyway um i it wouldn't automatically go so for example <clears throat> let me just make sure all of these are correct um if we had a warehouse we could send all the chickens to a warehouse and all the eggs to the warehouse and send that to the farmer's market um or we could send the warehouse say oh let's go to um where was it this place down here uh guardiola um and then we would only have to change one building now that's an option However, um, it would be nice if there was like a default to go back to like when that contract was done, that would automatically go back. Uh, I don't know if that's possible to implement, but it would certainly be kind of a nice thing. Okay. So we did get our bonus here. Contracts fulfilled there. I hope it, uh, kept up with the, uh, the expenses. I think it's okay. Oh, deliver six to Guardiola. Ah, and deliver 10 chickens to Carejo. How nice. All right, this is excellent. We are going to do both contracts, except, yes, 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 except. <clears throat> and uh, this is quite amusing, actually, because now we can deliver both of our things to the proper place. So chicken bits, we're going to go to the contracts, and it's 29 tiles away. And this one, again, is in Guardiola, 161 tiles away, but we can just copy paste. Um, what I do like about this contract system it's not asking for stuff we don't have. It's asking for things that we already have production lines set up with, and all we need to do is deliver them. Uh, sometimes we may not have enough to deliver, um, and we may need to build bigger production, but that's okay. Uh, the cool thing is we do get a nice, nice bonus for those things, um, which is really good. Okay, so now the chicken um, thingy is here. Let's choose our meat destination to be the commercial farmer's market. Let's see, X, go place, paste. 
because otherwise we're not going to get any money from this. But um, anyway, so what I was thinking is we should probably get a loan and start maybe growing some of these other towns um, so that we can just like prepare them for the future. Uh, Balor Baloria, but no, it's not. Oh, no, my God. All right. I'm just going to say this is the B town. Are they good? Are they fine? Do we want to supply them with stuff? We don't have any hops or anything like this. We do have apples. Not great. Ooh. Deliver six eggs. We can accept this. Yes, please. Okay. Go to the chicken farms. This is really quite the bumper crop here. Uh, oh, that's interesting that that reverts to the chicken thing. That's not great. I don't like that. Okay. Deliver this. And again, copy, paste, paste. Good, good. And boom. And we may not even need a loan. <clears throat> and, um... Let's see. Veloris, what do you guys want here? You guys take berries, though. I would be in favor of berries. And we could give you some wood and possibly rubber. Possibly this other stuff, too. Maybe we should do berries. No, no, somebody's already providing the berries. We could do sugar, though. Or cocoa. Cocoa might be a good industry to get into because we can make chocolate cake. That sounds tasty nice. Okay, what do we got here? Um, these guys have chickens and potatoes. I really would like to not do chickens again. Yeah, they do <laughs> They do want a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> but even if we get into one of these places that wants just small amounts of stuff, so we could do oranges. Oranges might be nice and hops. Another place wanted hops as well. We could get into these. We could do the mutton and wool. Uh, it's not my favorite, but we, we could do cotton. That would be nice, too. I need to start... Oh, you guys want apples, huh? I'm not going to give you apples, sorry. How about um, here? Aldelabad. They're the ones who have another bookstore. Great. <clears throat> Is there any fish around here? There's fish down here. And fish there. We could possibly do a boat route. That might be fun, actually. Um, boat route selling fish. But of course, fish are not very expensive products. So I don't know how that would work, if at all. Uh, we could do apples. We could do. We could buy this territory, and then send the apples down there as well. That might be a really good idea. Or. Actually, we could buy this territory and sell the apples to Guardiola. That might be even better because at the moment, this place has all the natural resources. They've got oil and all the things and stuffs. That might be a better thing. I think we'll buy this territory. Buy a full build. Oh, it's only $2 million. Wow, that's cheap. Let's buy that. Buy that. Yo. Uh, all right, first thing I want to do is some terraforming out here. Make sure this is kind of flattish. Please, the flat. We need the flat. Flatlands. Okay. <clears throat> Should I do a fish boat? <laughs> It'd be horribly expensive. <laughs> oh, good. Actually, I don't know if we can afford this 12 apples to Guardiola. But let's see. How much do you guys need? Do you guys need apples? Right. Do you guys need apples? <clears throat> No, they don't even want apples. They're, they're just like completely clueless about apples here. Uh, but we will do apples here at Aldeolabad. Alrighty, so um, they like cocoa and apples. And since we might want to get into the cocoa scene, let's go to the tech tree real quick and start cocoa research. 100k a month. I hope we can afford that, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, let's make an apple farm. Uh, I don't remember how many we're going to need, but it should be fine. It should be an orchard. And we'll leave this uh, a little bit far away, like maybe here. Wait a second. Let me make the road first, because that's going to be most interesting. Okay, this road we'll have going this way. Uh, and then well, we might even put our farm right on this road, and they can kind of build around us, and that'll be fine. I've decided that it might just be better to leave the farms uh, just as they are and not expand them necessarily. So this is going to make, let's see, 
two times three, six in 30 days. So we need probably, we could have another one, but I'd rather do like a cocoa farm or something. Uh, is there anything else that we can make? We can't do grapes. Yep, we'll just have to wait for the cocoa to happen. All right, that'll be fine. I guess I could do another farm with like two fields, but I feel like, uh, you know, the, the price that we have to pay the building upkeep for this is going to be pretty high uh, in comparison with what we get. So I don't know that that's a really good solution. Let's get our water siphon going here. too close to the city. I hope that one isn't too close. Whoops. These are okay over here, apparently. One, two, and three. Let's just put these dirt roads here. Okay, cool. Alright, water siphon four. Um... I completely forgot how many units of water I need, actually. So two times three, that's six every 30 days. This is also six every 30 days. That's perfect. Let's have this go to commercial distances. There we go. Water, and we'll call this apples one. Apples one, there we are. And destinations, apples one. Perfect. They have such neat and tidy ratios, those do. What the heck is this? Is this a bug? Hello? Are you a bug that happened? Greetings. <laughs> that was um, the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, how about Guardiola? Was that was that like um, offensive building or what? <laughs> that was so very strange. I've never seen that happen. That's like really weird. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was very funky indeed. Well then, mm -hmm. that was really very odd. Okay, it'll be fine, I hope. <laughs> I'd love to get this faster, um, but I'm afraid if I choose too many things, then we'll be out of luck. So we'll just leave that. Though I might do this, um, we might actually make, make some oranges and sell them to Guardiola and uh, just have them go there. I'd need to build an orchard. I guess I could... Oh, I don't have the orange thing yet. I could get one, though. Tech tree. Let's have oranges. There we go. Unlock those. But I would like to build a cocoa plantation here, too. So farms, need three fields here, one, two, and we'll put that, can we put it up there? No. Oh, you naughty thing. Oh well. Uh, we can't put it there either, unfortunately. Put it though here, which would be alright. Okay. Dirt road. Let's get this going this way. It's really a weird way to place these things. I guess I could delete that particular field here. Yeah. And we'll just replace it here. Have it a little bit more compact. All right. We'll send this to the commercial thingy 15 tiles away. That's just fine. Uh, and these have very weird production values for water. Uh, okay, so we're going to need six every 25 days. So it's going to be close to this, but not exactly right. Oh, and can I delete that building, please? No. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. It's, it's fine. Right? It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Terraforming. Let's flatten this here. Okay. And one more. Add harvester. And that'll work most of the time, even if not all the time. So let's just get that going. 
Oh, I can delete that bit of road there. All right, so you're going to go to plantation one should be Coco one. Okay, and you are going there. Farmer's market five, go to the farm of happiness and joy. Perfect. And these guys produce, is it, th it is two production. Okay, so that's enough over there. Now we can do the oranges, which we can send over here to Guardiola. They're just getting, looks like berries here. And they've also got some chickens going on. So that's fine. I think we'll send some oranges there. Um, let's just go ahead and make an orange farm here. There we are. How many do they want per month? Probably the same as the other place. Five per 15 days. Yep. So that's fine. Uh, we'll just add that there. Oranges. Yep. And it'll be a little bit further away, but that's okay. Commercial 48 tiles. All right. Deliver all these uh, apples to Carejo. But the thing about it is we only have one apple farm. Let's see, 30 day. Um, last month's production was six units. So six units a month. They want us a, a year. So six, six times 12. Yeah, we can easily make that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just send the apples uh, to the contract site. Accept. Okay, and then what we can do, we can have a second thing here. We can just say contracts choose to be dispatch level 10 or whatever, or yeah, to 22. Perfect. Uh, and then after that, it'll go. It'll it'll just chip itself off. It's kind of fun, funky. It's a different way of doing that. All right, so I need still water here. Uh, let me put down... Let me flatten this area a little bit because this area is clearly not square enough. It's not something we approve of. Oh my god, 500,000 to, to square that up. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. Water siphon. Let's see. One, two, and three. Boom. You go, please, to orange is one. Orchard three, whatever. It's all the same, and my money is running out. I'm kind of worried about that, just slightly. Just slightly. Okay, good. Alright, let's go. I'm curious about how this apple thing is going to work out. Hey, apples, how you doing? They're not getting enough water, looks like it. We should be having extra water. Oh, we actually do have extra water. It's fine. Should be. All right. I don't think we want to deliver all those chickens to this city over here. No way. It's too far. Decline. Go away. Okay, here we go. We're getting stuff happening, hopefully until we get some more stores in the whole place. That was very funky to see this building so uh, so interestingly. Uh, we have a bookstore now. How did that even happen? I don't even know. Oh, we can make tires too. That's cool. Orchard 3 should be orange is 1. Okay, good. All right, guys, we really need some profit here. We We need stuff. Please, please. Let's get profit happening. It's a good thing. Profit is good. How are you guys on water? A little bit extra. Fuidio. Where is that? I have no idea even where that is. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to deliver eggs there. Sorry. You're out of our... Uh, uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Decline. And you are way out of our range of oranges too. All right, are we getting any other stores? Not yet, darn it. Would love to have some more stores. Getting a lot of the apples delivered, which is very nice. Wholesaler, wholesaler has stuff. 
well, did have stuff. Apparently they're buying and selling from each other, which is quite nice. Alright, we really need some money. I know that we can make enough money. We are hopefully selling at a profit-ish. Please. Need more, need more money. Hello. Farmer's market. How are we doing here? We have two stored of those. We've got zero stored of the cocoa. We are just... There's no special events going on. Hmm. And no R&D. Okay. So let's see if that worked for us pretty well. If we look at the apples again and then look at the destinations. That's good. Okay, farmer's market and the other one just kind of chipped itself off. Ah, here is a big problem. Eggs would need to go somewhere. I have completely forgotten about that because we did that in the last episode. So all of these guys have had eggs building up. They have 33 eggs now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is not good. So that is one of the parts of production we were relying on happening. Uh, and it didn't happen, alas. Oh, look at this happening. This is interesting. So now we also have competition with the the AI. Oh yeah, because they're going to do dough and chicken soup, right? So they're naturally going to produce the things that uh, go into those items. But uh, we could research those things. But the thing is, is that we don't have a place to sell them at the moment. And without a place to sell them, it's kind of pointless. All right, so this should be a bit better. We should be selling more to the farmer's market. We are making a bit of a profit, though not as much as I, I thought we should, uh, actually. Let's get rid of these alerts. Um, just make sure that all of these guys are selling. Yep, we have nothing in store. Good, good, good. Oranges. Nothing in stock. Okay. That's fine. So I don't know why we're not making a profit. This is, um, we should be. Oh, we did make some. 147,000. But that's not a lot. I really want to grow some of these places so that we can make other products. Uh, this is really going to cut into my uh, profit margin here, I think. Yeah, it's at 83% eggs now. That's not good. Definitely not good. There's no chicken stored either. All right. It's fine. We can deal with it. It'll be fine. And I spent way too much money leveling stuff. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, orange is one. You're doing pretty well. Last month, 123,000 profit. That's pretty good, but not, not great. How are they doing? They're growing. That's good. Um, we can also get other things here, and I think that would be a good idea. Let's see. We can get coal. We don't have coal here. Sand, we can. Um, they're selling sand here already. Oh, there's a glassworks and smelter opened up there. Uh, cotton would be a good thing. Uh, wood... I think we should sell wood if we can. Yeah. We need to sell some wood here. Um, gas might be really good. But I think we'll do... Are they selling wood? It seems to be going up and down. I can't really tell. But... Um, so 6 per 15 days. Alright, let's go ahead and make a wood farm. Wood farm. Uh-huh. Lumber yard is, is what they call it, I believe. Yes. Um, this is right here. Okay, good. And we will sell it at our commercial destination of choice. 14 tiles away. There we go. Perfect. Now then, um, gas. Where is the gas? It's over here. This is a long way to travel. Um, I'm very tempted to get like a truck depot or something out here. Because the hardware store is way out here. But the truck depots are too big to fit into this area. So I guess I could just have trucks going long distance. But it might take, uh, might cost quite a lot, I'm wondering, I, I think. So let's see. Building construction. Yeah, we made a lot more money last month. But we constructed stuff also. 
So this should be working a lot better. Oil they want as well. Where's the oil? Oh, the oil's right there. Oh my god. Yes, we should have, have an extractor right here. Oil drill. Okay, we're going to put that here because these guys are tiny. We need six per 15 days. These will produce... Let's see. I don't know how many they'll produce. One, two, three... These will produce in 30 days. We'll produce uh, three times three is nine. Yep, same as pretty much everything else. Commercial hardware store, go. These numbers are so weird. Very, very weird. But it's okay. We have little pump jacks going. They're so lovely. I grew up in West Texas, so those were always, always there. Always around. Kind of cool. I like the pump jacks. They're kind of neat. I've seen so many of them in my life. <laughs> okay, so we are going with this. And hopefully, this guy will grow too. Let's go check on Karejo again. Um, and see. They haven't built another store yet. This is not ideal. <laughs> They've certainly grown in population, but I, I want them to produce stores. We need more stores. Come on, guys. Is there anywhere else where we would like to kind of start? This place is just crowded between the hills. Bodus, how about you guys? We can do, well, just sand, maybe. Sand, sugar, vegetables, apples. They take apples and maybe oranges. Hmm. I would probably... Oh, we could do it from here. The ocean coastline is quite flat and nice. Well, they've got a food factory going on here. Where are they selling this food? Like, what are they making? It doesn't tell me what they're making, but I don't know where they're, they're selling it either. Because I don't uh, see any place where they can really... Like, they would need a diner or other higher level building for that. Classworks, we have farmer's market here. Mm -hmm. Wow. So many different things. Cocoa. Where, where is this again? Guardiola? Aren't they already getting... No, they're not transferring there. Okay, it's 317%. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do 17 cocoa. That's fine. And how long? Let's see. November 7th, year 5. So March. Uh, so April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So that would be 8 months. And they want 17. And these guys produce... Oh yeah, there's plenty of time. Alright, let's go there then. Um, we'll accept the contract, please. Shove it here. And you need 17 of them. Okay, good. That's fine. Actually, we'll just do 17. All together, 17. Okay, good. Alright, that'll be fun. Um, 10 to Velores. I don't think so. Where Where is Velores again? Oh yes, it's up here. Way, way, way far away. I would need some other stuff for that. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry. Decline. I don't want to change the wheat around at all. I mean, you could actually have warehouses full of different products that you could sort of uh, stockpile for those kinds of situations if you wanted to. So, Fuidio. What do we have here? They want oil, cotton... Um, oranges? Is there any oil around here? There's oil there. But that may be in a different uh, zone. Yeah, I think it might be. Though, let's just check this out. It might not be. Oh no, they have oil. They have oil. Okay, so this is probably within their, their area. Oil and cotton... I suppose I could just deliver stuff to them if we really wanted to. Um, oranges. There is enough room for a farm here. We could put a farm down. How much does it cost to buy into this place? Three million or four million. Nearly four million. 
This is nice, this uh, cocoa thing. Glad we found that way of doing things, that it works fairly well for us. Apples, how are you guys doing? Pretty well. Getting lots of water. Probably overdoing it on the water just slightly. It's just because of the uh, different time things. Chickens. 12 apples to Guardiola. Yes, we're going to do that, definitely. Get the apple farm here. Production, destinations. Let's do the same thing. Contracts. Uh, and how many again? 12? Okay, cool. Go. This is good. We'll we'll get we'll get our money back this way somehow. <laughs> Anybody have I really, really want them to build more stores. I'm just like waiting for them. They already have another ten thousand more. It's like, come on guys, these need these people need merchandise. They need stuff. Okay, so that one is done. Nice, nice, nice. Go away. Hmm. We might have to start doing books anyway. Even if we don't want to. I oh, bad PR for wheat. Great. <laughs> that does not help us. I wonder if those prices also filter down into like the things that are made with wheat. Like uh, chickens and bread and dough and stuff like that. I wonder. I wonder if that affects everything down the production line or not. I don't know. Um, we could do books, newspapers, printed paper. <laughs> That's something. Okay, I don't want to do this one. Go away. Gameplay alert. You have finished stuff. Deliver nine. Where? Nine eggs over there. By July. You're six. Okay, we'll take it. Alright, we'll do the eggs there. Chickens. Alright, we're going to do another egg thing. And we need nine, right? So we'll do commercial contracts. So I think what we'll do is we'll do three because each for, we have three farms and each can deliver three of them. So let's just copy this from chickens one, go there and there, right? We'll have the wholesaler on there. Perfect. Okay. So then they should just go that way and that way we won't forget to get them going again. Oh, this is very nice. Very, very nice. Are you growing at all as a town? Hello? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. No. And of course you are not growing either. Man. None of these towns is growing and doing what we want them to do. Darn it. Okay. We could start doing the books. Okay. I think we should start um, researching this. So I think we can afford to spend very little money on this thing right now. Let's just go for printed paper for now and do a hundred K a month, 16 oranges to Bodas. No, that's too far. Nope. Sorry. Bye bye. Can't have this happening. Refuse. It's not a thing. The funky thing is, it's like, there's nothing that's really tempting me with other things that I really want to sell in these places. And I really would like to do some higher level goods, but it is just not, <laughs> nothing is interesting me at the moment. Come on towns, give me something to, to, to chew on here. These are having paper mills happening over there. Hardware store. They have coal in this area? No, of course not. Of course not. Uh, they do accept rubber though. I'm tempted to make like a rubber plantation down here. Um, the one place does accept rubber. Is it this town over here? Hardware store? Yeah. Uh, no, not that one. Is it this one? Really? Yes, it is, but it's at 92%. So that's not as ideal as I would like it to be. Gas. How much are you guys paying for gas still? Or not? 2,800. That is not a lot. It's interesting that there's no gas in the ocean. Because I would have thought that there would be. Because um, there is gas under, under the ocean. Uh, Alright. 
you guys hardware store what can we serve you with Ooh, cotton cotton may be an okay thing as well uh they also take oil here but hmm and they make take glass as well build okay, where is this place again no it's too far bye bye all right um i wish this town would grow faster i am really really wanting it to grow faster it now has so much more population come on guys give me another store i really want another store at least my uh, my little crossings seem to be working where the town is not building over those. That's kind of nice. Nice to know it's working. But yeah, I think we're going to have to supply these bookstores with what they want. Uh, start off with the printed paper, which requires ink and parchment. Oh, they have grown a little bit more. Got another little um, nook here. But no... No more stores yet, but man, yeah, the parchment, the, the book process is quite a long one as I remember. So anyway, I think what I'll do is we're just kind of waiting for these things to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the game in the background and see if we get any other additional stores that we want to uh, make things for. So anyway, let's leave the episode here. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.